What is the color white? Is it the titanium white in oil painting? Or is it the color of your skin? Feather, cream, silk, snow, kitty, pearls, chest, lace, scarf, flowers, crystal, swans, wall paint, clouds, and the moon? Or is it the white of a happy smile, hope, or the light of your soul? Is it the blinding sunlight, the whiteness of an angel's wings, or purity and innocence of a child? It seems that white represents no color. Yet it means so much to us. The bride's wedding gown, the white glow of the sublime, the ethereal beauty of a white Greco-Roman marble sculpture. White light, white face, white lilies, white room, white staircase, white dark, white snow. It's either a clean start or cold emptiness. We see unity in the symbolism of white across many cultures, but not all. White can mean a wedding and a funeral. What is the color white technically? Technically, white isn't a specific color, like red or blue. When all the wavelengths of visible light are present and reflected by an object, we perceive it as white. In simpler terms, white is all of the colors combined. All the colors we see exist on the visible light spectrum, a range of wavelengths our eyes can perceive. Each color corresponds to a specific wavelength of light. White is an achromatic color, which means it lacks a hue. White light is all colors combined. What is the color white in oil and acrylic painting, you might ask? While prehistoric art got created with a white chalk made of the mineral calcite, white oil paint has a different composition and history. In oil painting, the ideal opaque white is neither warm nor cool. For generations, artists painted with lead white until the 19th century when everything changed. Companies began to mass produce art supplies, including watercolor and oil paint. No more grinding of pigments. White uh, comes from substances like titanium dioxide, lead carbonate calcite, or zinc oxide. Zinc white has zinc pigments. Flake white is a softer, warmer white that used to have a lead in it. Flake white is found in earlier Chinese painting, and Kremnitz white, Venetian white, French white, and Dutch white were also based on lead carbonate and lead hydroxide. Flemish white is based on lead sulfate. Cool color, the titanium white, is the strongest and most opaque white used by uh, most contemporary artists today. A vast majority of the manufactured white pigments don't have toxic lead in them. However, such paint is a lot more brittle and susceptible to the environmental changes but if it's mixed with the safflower oil and not the linseed oil. A modern invention, acrylic white, is a chemical-based paint that's made of pigment suspended in an acrylic polymer emulsion. It's also made of plasticizers, silicon oils, deformers, stabilizers, or metal soaps. Unlike oils, it's water-based and dries super quickly. Used in house painting, acrylic paint dries to be water resistant. Some artists love painting with acrylics, while others don't. Unique properties of each paint fit different creative personalities. What are the shades of white? While most people don't think of white having shades, artists and creatives perceive a wide range of subtle variations of white uh, creating their art. Normally, we don't see the difference between the shades of white unless we choose a wall paint in a hardware store or look at the neatly stacked rows of clothes in a shop. White 
should be neutral, but it's often either warm or cool. Warm whites have a hint of yellow to create a sense of warmth and coziness. Ivory, eggshell, cream, antique white, vanilla and beige are the shades of warm white. Cool whites have a bluish-gray undertone, giving a sense of timeless, airy feel. Alabaster, pearl, white smoke and snow come to mind describing cool whites. Shades of white could also lean towards a specific color, like pink, peach or green. Seashell white is a soft pinkish white, reminiscent of the delicate hues of seashells. The crystal tiara could be literally any color of the light projected onto it. Here it ranges from a purplish white to warm white. One of my favorite artists is John Singer Sargent. I love his use of bold brush strokes, the richness of color. He often participated in the arrangement and choice of gowns on his models. I love how fluid and beautiful the white fabric is painted here. A close-up of this painting reveals beautiful shades of white shifting from warm to neutral to cool whites. You can achieve such uh, richness of white by adding a little bit of uh, color into the white. It's super rare for an artist to use pure white that's out of the tube white. Usually some color is added into it. This is Sir Frederick Layton's painting. While her face appears artificial, I love how the artist painted all these different white garments. They range from neutral white in her robe to a warm white of silk cover to a pinkish white skirt. Also, a single string of white pearls matches the warmth of the silk. The background has some white elements that are grayed down and subdued to bring the figure forward. The symbolism of white throughout art history. Paul de la Roche, the execution of Lady Jane Grey. The white fabric is warm, while the grey shadows are neutral and feel a lot cooler, being bluish grey. When we look at Canova's sculpture titled Napoleon's Sister, the light is warm, heating the marble, casting bluish grey shadows. These are beautiful examples of art uh, we can and all admire. Can you now distinguish between a warm white and a cool one? The symbolism of the color white is quite astonishing if we think about it. There are universal associations with the color as well as the nuanced meanings of white depending on culture or context. One color, two opposite associations. Let's look at the positive white. In Christianity, white represents purity, innocence, divinity. Think of the white angels, white robes of monks and heavenly figures, a white dove or white lilies of the Virgin Mary. Um, these are all whites that carry a spiritual meaning. In this painting, Gabriel brings the white lilies to Mary in Annunciation. These flowers mean purity and virginity. The angel wears a white robe with beautiful pearls decorating the fabric. Dressed in a beautiful white gown, heavenly figure of Mary soars on a white cloud. This is one of the most beautiful religious sculptures I've seen in the European churches. Thayer often painted his children as angels. I love this depiction of angel painted by Caravaggio. It's titled Rest on the Flight into Egypt. Uh, we see an angel playing music wrapped in swirling white fabric. The ethereal glow of white light represents heaven and the divine, uh, spiritual purity, enlightenment and truth. White clothing is ceremonial of passing into another world or heaven. This is one of uh, 
paintings I, I've seen at the Scottish National Gallery. It looks very contemporary because of the color and the use of patterns. And here we can see white clothing is ceremonial of passing into another world or heaven. It's the color of the ascension into the heavens. White Dove or the Holy Spirit is a symbol of peace, forgiveness, hope and love. In art, it forms the Trinity and flies in a rays of sunlight with an olive branch in its beak. This is the official emblem of the Pope with a Dove or Holy Spirit depicted in the center of it. I think I saw it in the Vatican in Italy. Here we can see portrait of Pope Leo X. This is a detail uh, showing the ceremonial garments, which are white and red. And you can see how beautiful it is, painted by Raphael. White can symbolize hope, innocence, and royalty in ceremonies. A white wedding gown means innocence and pure perfection. Uh, white is the color of light and white pearls communicate similar symbolism. Although the bride wears a white gown and is about to get married, she is devastated by the normally joyful event. The artist commented on common practice of parents giving their daughter to marry at a very young age to fix the family's financial situation. Uh, Fedotov is another Russian painter of the 19th century. This is a very famous Russian painting uh, that carries similar symbolism where a young bride doesn't want to marry an old man for money. Accolade is also one of my favorite paintings. This one is a little bit uh, melodramatic, but it's so beautiful. Here we can see a close-up of a white gown and jewelry pieces. White is the color of light, divinity, nobility and purity of the heart. White pearls also symbolize purity, wisdom and sincerity. And let's just say that these beautiful pearls make a great visual statement in paintings like this one. White can represent royalty. Just like another French artist, Poussin, Engra often received poor reception for his art at the Salon. Moreover, in the middle of his career, he got so fed up with the criticism and poor receptions of his work that he began to exhibit his art in his studio and private apartments. Ermen IV encircles the Napoleon's neck, uh, the symbol of royalty. A student of famous neoclassical painter David, Engra took a different road in his vision of art that contemporaries and critics didn't get. Look at beautiful shades of white created by fantastic classical artists. White is heaven. Many churches and temples have a lot of white in them to symbolize the heavens. For instance, the Alhambra Palace is one of the world's finest examples of Islamic architecture. It served as an inspiration for numerous artists, including Asher. This elaborate geometric design shows heavenly colors of white and blue. The Cathedral of Salerno was built between 1080 and 1085 on the ruins of a Roman temple and then there were additions added to this beautiful temple. This white temple in Thailand looks like heaven on earth. Famous contemporary Thai artist uh, wanted to build a temple that's different from other Wats. Normally, Thai temples are golden and the artist wanted to emphasize the Buddha's purity who achieved nirvana. 
So he put myriads of small mirrors into the white sculptures that beautifully reflect the light of the temple. These mirrors are the symbol of Buddha's wisdom that shines through the universe according to the artist. He amassed a team of other artists to build this beautiful site that represents heaven on earth. The admission is free for people to enjoy the garden, feeling peace and joy. Isn't that wonderful? In the Japanese culture, the white crane is the national treasure and symbol of good fortune and peace. It's also associated with loyalty, wisdom, fidelity and beauty. The crane is depicted in art, literature and mythology and is said to live for 1000 years. The white crane is the symbol of peace, hope and healing. In Japanese culture we can see white dragons and guardians protecting the temples. The meaning of dragons varies depending on their color. The white dragon is a water god that controls rainfall and water. White dragons are also associated with great wealth and blessings in marriage. White is also a force in duality of nature. Yin and Yang is a core concept in the Chinese philosophy that describes two opposing yet interconnected and complementary forces that are believed to underlie all of reality. They represent intertwined aspects of a whole in a dynamic balance with the universe. Famous symbol of Yin and Yang is a circle divided into two halves, each containing a swirl of the opposite color. The swirl with each half represents the seed of the other force, signifying their interdependence. In art, it often means balance where white can't exist without black. White often represents all the light in the world opposing the black of the darkness. In this oil painting, Syrian and Alkanost, or the song of happiness and sadness, depicts two beautiful half-bird, half-woman creatures from Slavic mythology. Syrian on the right is typically associated with joy and enchantment, while Alkanost on the left brings sorrow and mourning. The contrasting melodies intertwine, creating a complex harmony that reflects the duality of human experience. The calming power of white. The calming effect of white is obvious is in snowy landscapes, white clouds that bring us feelings of peace. Tranquil nature relaxes our mind. Soft white fabric evokes serenity and white swans and snowflakes seem magical floating in water. White can carry a special meaning in objects we often see. For instance, well, we can read the Chinese ancient legend about the origins of the world. Once upon a time, the universe was an enormous egg. One day, the egg split open and its upper half became the sky, its lower half the earth, and from it emerged Panku, primordial man. Every day, he grew 10 feet taller, the sky 10 feet higher, and the earth 10 feet thicker. After 18,000 years, he died. His head split and became the sun and the moon, while his blood filled the rivers and seas. His hair became the forest and meadows, his perspiration the rain, his breath the wind, his voice the thunder, and his fleas our ancestors. This legend expresses a Chinese philosophy that man is not the culminating achievement of the creation, but a relatively insignificant part in the scheme of things. An afterthought. This is taken from the book The Arts of China by Michael Sullivan. This is one of my favorite Romanticism artists who painted the power of nature to show its spiritual dominance over man. White hue can also be a symbol of cleanliness. Healthcare facilities have white rooms, corridors and doctor's coats. 
Contemporary architecture loves the color white. Both interior and exterior spaces have white paint and decorum to amplify the light in the region. And white can also represent neutrality or fairness, negotiation or surrender. David was also a radical thinker and a revolutionary who was once uh, an official court painter to Napoleon, but ended up in persecution and escape from France to Belgium closer to the end of his life. This painting uh, represents uh, the ideals of neoclassical art and politics, simplicity, heroism, idealization, classicism, neutrality and stoicism. Color white helps communicate these virtues. In modern art, white can symbolize a fresh start, an open canvas or space for interpretation. White is neutral blank canvas. Artists like Robert Rauschenberg and Agnes Martin explored this potential in their monochromatic white paintings. In Georgia O'Keeffe's uh, painting Skull, she often painted the bleached white bones and skulls of uh, the animals in New Mexico. She associated the skulls with strength of uh, an American spirit. White also means innocence. White evokes purity, innocence, and a sense of classical elegance and timeless quality. Depending on our view of the world, specific events or cultural differences, we can see the color white as cold, empty, and artificially sterile. This kind of emotionless, stark white can trigger feelings of isolation and emptiness. Moreover, white can be associated with mourning and death in some countries. White ghosts scare us, representing the supernatural and death. White shroud symbolizes death, mourning, and loss. And blindfolded figures often represent ignorance, inability to see, and vulnerability. But the blindfolded lady justice has a different meaning. The blindfold represents that justice is unbiased and shouldn't be influenced by a person's appearance or other factors. As you can see, the color white carries several meanings and rich symbolism in art history and our life. What do you think of the color white? Leave uh, your opinion in the comments uh, below this video. And thanks so much for watching, guys! If you find a mistake uh, in this uh, video, Please know it's not intentional, I did the research to the best of my ability, but if you find the mistake, uh, let me know. See the email in the description of this video.